Hey guys, Gamer3800 here once again. And um, as you can see, instead of it being a game system as usual, it's a laptop. Toshiba Satellite A70. And normally you guys are asking questions or requesting stuff. Oh, now it's the other way around. And sorry, I couldn't. Um, get my camcorder, you know, with HD and all that. I don't know, one of these. Yeah, battery's charging, so had to dig out the old one. But either way, um, this laptop had a bad battery, overheating problems, and um, aim, I think bad fans. So what did I, what did I do? I got a new heatsink, some new fans, a new battery, and I don't know, a new keyboard. And I just ripped one of the keys off. Great. There we go. Either way, um, I got this from my from my school. Um, they said it didn't work very well, so I took it, fixed it up, and guess what happened when I tried to turn it on? It turned on before, but it overheated easily, but after I put all the new pieces in and screwed everything back in correctly, turn it on. Nothing. Not even a flicker from the screen. So, um, as you can see, it's still on, and it says it's powered on. This is the old battery. The new one's still on its way. Hopefully, it'll come today. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to sue someone. Yeah, the battery only lasted 10 minutes without, without the power being plugged in, so not really much of a purpose. It's already fully charged, but as soon as I unplug it, it'll, you know, Say it needs charging and whatnot. Either way, um, if you have any ideas of how to fix this black screen of death, um, more or less like the 360's red ring of death, um, yeah, if you have any ideas of what I should do, please let me know because I really want to get this thing back up and running. On the side, you know, I have everything usual DVD drive, which won't open. The startup disk was already in there, so it so doesn't really matter. Net, network card, already in there. Then there's, like, SD card slot. Well, not really SD card, more or less like, you know, these old smart cards. And I think I put it in the wrong slot. Great. Yes. So yeah, please, if you have any op options or suggestions, um, send me a PM, leave a comment, what I should do. Um, yeah, I'm kind of at a standstill right now. Old fans, they had 10 tons of dust in it. Heatsink, missing some things on the end, so it's like not even a full heatsink. So the new heatsink had more, more little prongs. Wow, look at that. I've never seen that happen before. Well, I guess that's what you get for not using HD. SD card protector, or slot protector, whatever you want to call it. Old keyboard, there's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted a new one to make it look more authentic, if you if you will. It worked alright. So, 
as you can see, it's still not booting up, booting up or doing anything. Fans are still running. Monitor, printer cable, LAN, USB, S video, volume, USB, internet on off, head headphone mic, volume again. Lights. Pretty. And yeah, it shuts down okay. Turn it back on. You hear the you hear both fans running underneath. And you can definitely feel them coming up the back when it starts running. But then still there's a black screen of death. And comparing it to Let's say my other laptop, which is a, I think, older than this. Which still runs fine. I mean, I've had to clean it out maybe once or twice, but still runs perfectly fine. And I guess you could call this a mini review. Yay, we all love the error sound. This one's a Dell, so that probably explains it, you know. Have all your little buttons on the front. Have your network card out. Which is impossible to get this little thing back in. With it still stuck in there. Network card, remote controller, holder, whatever you want to call it. Land on off. USB, phone. Power to your speeds, this video. Lights. To your speeds, LAN, monitor, SD card, DVD, which opens fine. Headphone, mic. Yes. This is a phenomenal computer, and yeah, you can see me. I don't think you really want to, because I just woke up. And now it just has to sleep. What is going on with all the error messages? So either way, even with the Toshiba having all brand new parts inside of it, it still won't decide to work. Just seeing if the battery decided to die yet. Wow, did you see that? Thank you, autofocus. Sound off. Before I got this laptop, it was changed to a Linux operating system. Um, before it was Windows XP, and that made it overheat, they say. I'm gonna switch it to Vista like that one is, because I'm proud of Vista. Some people aren't, but I am. I've never had this computer crash unless um, I'm trying to burn it, trying to burn a DVD, run several fire, files and I don't know doing like having everything open at once with it on power saver mode that's the only time it'll it'll really crash but I think that just overdoes the CPU well this CPU doing nothing so I made this video so much longer than it had to be so I hope you enjoyed and yep 
Oh, quick update. I ordered um, an Atari 400, Atari Lynx, and a Sega Powerbase converter. So, even though I don't have a Master System, I'll be able to play some of the games. Not all of them. So, again, sorry for this not being in HD. I had, I wanted to get this done quickly and upload it quickly. Mm, my HD camcorder, Panasonic, I don't know, can you read that? Hope so, because I'm not going to zoom in. And I don't think it'll want to zoom in. Great, it doesn't want to zoom in. Dying battery. But underneath this little thing here, wow. Why does it keep doing that with my hands? Let's see, you got power, PC connect, HDMI. Autofocus. Camera function. AV component. And headphone. SD card. Nothing in there. Disc copy. OIS. Wheelie bin. Little D pad. Analog stick function thingy. Pre recording. Don't really know what that does. Space to put a microphone. Zoom, zoom in. Out. Picture, LCD or eye function, on, off, play. In the front you get your little microphone input. Yes. So for the millionth time, what's up with this? Fix it for me.